Unreal Engine 5 hardware ray tracing shows its muscles on PlayStation 5 Pro and Fortnite. PSSR implementation in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is extremely disappointing. Like other popular games, Fortnite was recently updated with a PlayStation 5 Pro patch that introduces some new features that elevate the game's visuals considerably and provide a glimpse at the future of Unreal Engine 5 powered games on the system. A few hours ago, Digital Foundry shared their analysis of the game's PlayStation 5 Pro patch, showing how the introduced additions make a big difference, as does the absence of PSSR support. Instead of using the iPowered Upscaler, which is producing a variety of issues in several titles, Fortnite on PS5 Pro continues to use TSR, a choice that makes total sense considering it is tailored to Unreal Engine 5 and has less cost on the GPU, allowing the game to run at 60 FPS and higher with fewer issues. The most significant addition included in the Fortnite PlayStation 5 Pro patch is the introduction of Unreal Engine 5 hardware rate tracing, making the popular Battle Royale game one of the few UE5 games to support it on consoles. The difference, as shown in multiple comparisons, is night and day with software rate tracing, as hardware rate tracing is generally more stable and consistent, bringing massive visual improvements and fixing some of the stability issues seen on the base model. While the Fortnite PlayStation 5 Pro patch showed how the Unreal Engine 5 can take advantage of the system's power to enable features not possible on the base model, other patches show how one of the system's new features, the aforementioned PSSR Upscaler, still has a long way to go. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora is among the latest games to support the Upscaler, but the results are extremely disappointing, as showcased in Gaming Tech's analysis. The PlayStation 5 Pro is now available worldwide. You can learn more about the system by checking out our review.